we're gonna get into another casual game review this is a great place where i can smack my microphone um but you know where you can find chill games to play so let's get into it long winter is the game we're looking at pretty much i was clicking on random things in steam and i seen like this recommended spot and it was like you know games similar to these games and i think like raft and something else popped up um and it was on sale for like a dollar off so it was like well it's not bad it's normally like i think 12.99 and it was 11.99 um and i ended up clicking on the trailer and i was i was really dying laughing because it looked like they took like little animal crossing characters in an animal crossing land and kind of made it into a survival game so it was like that's adorable boom download um now i do want to point that this game is in a beta it's early access and i also want to point out down down there in this corner right here right down there is a subscribe button you you should definitely press that now back to the game <laughs> Now, the first thing that I noticed really was that it was like a server only game. There wasn't anything that you could really, you know, um, host a game. There was no single player. It was just a list of servers. Um, and, you know, after playing it, I did get curious. You can get a server on G Portal for like $14 a month for like 10 people, um, which at this point, I would honestly go that route just because of how I feel about the rest of the game. But we'll we'll continue with that. So there was a bunch of servers that seemed like they were essentially like official servers. So of course I clicked one of them. Um, and I honestly didn't play the game too terribly long. Um, you load in at this like dock area and there's a freaking paragraph and if you guys know anything about me is like when there's a lot of things to read and I'm playing this on stream like I'm going to go oh I got this and exit and just keep going um so I really missed the part to where it was like you know when you spawn in, there's a tool at this thing. We already give you a little bit of money. Buy this tool and come sell us shit. So I think that might have like hit my gameplay a little bit. Now, I wandered around and I found some containers. I found an axe. So um, I, I went and I was chopping trees. And I was like, okay. And at first... I didn't really understand because nothing was dropping, but I just assumed it was dropping at a point that I couldn't see. Um, and at that point, it was like, well, I have this wood. Like, how do I craft stuff? Like, what's a crafting button? And then you, you've seen that I, like, tried to swim across the water and I died because apparently um, you can't stay in water for long. But there was no bar or anything that I could see. Um, now there was also like a ridiculous amount of tents, like freaking everywhere. And pretty much when you have a tent, that's like your safe area. That's your spawn area. Um, and some of the tents that I went close to had like turrets and things. And it's kind of weird because like, if you get into like the tented area, like perimeter and you try to take stuff, it's like, well, you can't take things of that are owned by others so like i don't un really understand like the turret kind of thing um maybe it's like when you get up to the houses or like i'm not really sure because like you you can't take the stuff so why why the shooty shooters unless you know it was something else that i just wasn't paying attention to or understand um now, you know, a lot of survival games that you play, you kind of have to figure it out. Like, there's not a lot of, like, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. Um, that's kind of what happened with, like, Ark when it came out. When you join in for freaking um, Rust and, you know, other survival type games. So, you know, it it's you get used to the same concept when you play the same type of game. 
Um, so I kind of figured, you know, there's something that I missed. Um, I do want to play on like a server that doesn't have like a billion tents around. Um, I am going to relook at this game in the future. Um, but you know, my one thing is like, have a hostable option, even if it's with like only four people, if you really want to push like server sales. Um, but like spawning in or having to get a server to essentially play a game is kind of baby. So let me know what you thought about this game if you're going to check it out. I do really want to play this in the future. So if you have like a server where it's only like you and a couple friends, hit me up. <laughs> um, if you guys could go like all my other socials, I am changing some stuff. So make sure you guys go check out the discord to see what's going on, um, whether or not and where. I'm streaming at that moment. You'll find everything in there. Um, we have some cool stuff going on in the Discord as well. At least I'm trying to make some cool stuff happen in there. Uh, but again, hit that little subby button down there. I would very much appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time for our next casual review.